What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be breaking down a 40-kill gameplay. And to keep it real and simple, if you want to become a better player, then you are in the right spot. I'm going to be giving you guys pro player tips and insight and explaining why I do certain things. So right off the rip, we're going to be going for a high-kill game, and we're going to be going top Grotto or Town to find a lot of people. I see a lot of people landing here. I'm going to land on this guy, basically try to acquire a gun first, right? But he's going to challenge me, so I'm going to challenge him back. Now, a big tip I like to say right off the rip, let's just break this down. Beating down got nerfed, and I always go for pistol shots. 95% of the time while he's beating me down I'm going for the pistol shots trying to aim high hopefully for the head to get that extra damage and I'm gonna knock him before he can kill me with his punches I'm gonna immediately go for the full here so I can get these pings now getting pings on the mini map are so huge I'm gonna see this guy really close to me and he's gonna start chasing me so I'm gonna immediately rug it, run and try to hug this wall while I played up now I know this guy is basically fully committing to me so I'm trying to escape him and try to get loot I see the doors open and obviously, we saw a lot of people like Grotto. So there's people here. We know this. So I got to approach this, you know, kind of safely. But this guy that was chasing me kind of stood up top and just beams me down. Now, I'm going to self-revive. This guy's actually going to shoot at other people. And this is a big tip I want to explain because what I do now is pretty crazy. I always tell people, grab all tacticals off the rip. And this EMP grenade you see here is actually going to be a, a big reason why I get to escape here. So I hear him chasing me. I immediately throw the EMP. Now, if you don't know, do not know what EMP does, it messes up your audio for like two seconds and it just kind of throws you off a little bit. First of all, throw the EMP, he's gonna get hit by it. I'm gonna shoot some fire shots and basically commit, make him commit to that way. And I'm gonna immediately turn around and just full send it with a pistol, you run pretty fast and just dip. Now, if I did not have an EMP there, I guarantee you I do not live because he hears me running away in what direction, he just turns around and kills me. But the EMP was huge, right? That's pretty crazy, but that's how it goes. Now I'm going to immediately look for a gun knowing he's chasing me. Now, we all know, depending on the weapon you pick up, you got to play a certain style. I'm going to go for a shotgun here. And I understand that if he pushes me, I have to play him a little more close quarter. So I'm going to start hugging this wall and kind of wait for him. I hit him with a first pump, break plates, perfect. I'm going to disengage, re-engage once I cock the back the, the pump. Go for the second shot. At this point, I commit because I know either the second pump is going to kill him, or if not, the third pump will, and I, he won't kill me in time. I'm going to fool him right away with the go for the headshot pump. I see his teammate immediately push me, so I'm going to immediately disengage again and fly down here. I'm going to grab this crate, and now the thing is you can never just fully land down. You will break your leg, so even if he chases me, I know I have time to work with because he has to cut his parachute. So I'm going to grab this gun, re, re peek. He doesn't push me. Perfect. Now, I know a lot of people are down here, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep the pace. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep moving fast. I have a DP. I have a lot of ammo. Let's go for some more kills. I'm not in the best spot. If I die, I die. I'm going to get this kill. I see this guy self-reviving, so I'm trying to, you know, steal the kill, but I'm not going to be able to. I spawn this guy. Start putting shots. Now, I'm not in a situation to commit to this gunfight. If you guys see my health, all my plates are gone, and I have half the health. If he turns around right here, which he's about to, he's going to kill me in a heartbeat. So instead of committing to this fight, I'm going to dis disengage and reposition. I'm going to immediately go to the window to hopefully catch him off guard. Whether he's at the doorway looking for me or if he's in his corner here, then I, I should have to jump on him. What should I do here? I aim high for the head. I try to do that pretty often. Now, here's where the mix comes in. A lot of people are coming in. This guy's going to get caught off guard. He didn't have plates. I was the guy who just self-revived. And I see the other guy hiding there. And I, obviously, he pinged in the radar. I'm trying to grab this trip mine because it could potentially help me. So this guy's going to peek me right here. I'm going to immediately see it. So what I'm going to do is, one, I'm going to try to get out of his angle of his camera. I'm going to hug the left. And on top of it, I'm going to start shooting my gun as he keeps peeking me and pre-fire it. So I'm going to do this. You see me centering and shooting the window and hip firing and then aiming in, even though he's not on my screen yet. And it's going to allow me to get this kill. I know there's more people near me. I'm trying to play it up and stay alive here. I'm not in the best position, but I'm just trying to win as many gunfights as I can and get as many kills as I can while they're all pushing me. I know this guy's one shot, so I'm going to commit to the chase. Throw a thermite there to hopefully block him away. Got this kill. Now, here, I'm just trying to go for finishes. I know in my head, like, I'm dead. I knocked TTV Go and Red Prince. I'm dead. So, right here, I'm literally, let me just go for some fools, hopefully, and just get as many as I can. Unfortunately, they take me out. There's just too many. That guy slides in, slide cancels in, and boom. Luckily, I was able to get one of my kills here, and I spawned over my teammate Winery. Now, I see a lot of people on the radar, so I'm going to immediately land here and try to get for, get a gun and go, you know, crazy. Keep, keep acquiring kills. I'll find this crate. Get a well gun. Perfect. That dude's jump spot. I actually heard this guy on my right here. So I'm going to center on my right as soon as I go up. Win the gunny. Aim kind of high, which I try to do pretty often. I usually do that a lot with people standing still. When someone's standing still, I usually aim for the chest slash neck slash head if I can. Obviously, the multipliers, if you guys know this, when you aim high, you kill fast. So that's kind of the goal. I see a lot of people fighting to my right. I heard a guy flying in. Look in the air. Find this guy. Well gun beams. Get him. I pull out my KG. Beam this a second guy. And get the third guy flying in as well. 
So right here, two of those guys are flying in. They look like they just came from the sky. They don't really have guns. The third guy might have a self-revive because he has a loadout gun, which I can see in the back. So I'm going to go for the guy who could be an immediate threat and who actually has a self-revive. Something super small, but just wanted to point that out there. This guy lands on me too, tries to punch me. I don't know, might have been the same guy I killed earlier, but I'm going to turn around and kill that guy. Gonna pick up this Armagera. So 11 kills, 30 people remaining. We are playing quads here. So it can be very, very mixy. So I'm like, all right, you wanna leave? All right, we'll split up here. So I get the ATV and I'm like, I'm out. I spot this guy with the right shield. I try to run him over and I don't, as soon as he pulls out the gun here, one, he's an immediate threat. Two, he doesn't have his right shield out. So he could be potentially a free kill. Not a free kill, but a kill that can be easily acquired. So I, I jump out, immediately challenge him with the, with the gun. Reload, go for the full here, throwing knife, get his loot. I spot two in the radar. So I spot a guy in front of me and a guy to my right. So I know my head here is like, all right, this is the guy still here. I don't see him, but I see the guy straight ahead. So I pull out the sniper, go for the quick scope, line up the headshot. Boom. First knock. Quick scope again. Boom. And you can see every time I'm sniping, hitting a shot, obviously the sniper has to cock back. So I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm making myself a hard target. Aim it again. They don't want to re-engage. This is the perfect time to capitalize a push, especially in trios or quads. I got a knock. I completely broke a guy's plate. So he's going to be plating up. You know, someone's probably rezzing someone. So even if there's three or four, this is a perfect time. So I'm going to pop a stim to get, get there faster. I hear somebody rezzing here. And I, I try to knock the guy, another guy, which is a guy broke's play. Go for a full. Going for fools can be so important because it gives you a ping on what your teammates are. It's basically a, a mini hack. Um, but either way, I'm getting shot in the back by this guy that I do see in my end of seeing my radar here. Um, so I immediately turn around. You can see it, this is like kind of like a, a camera slash a, a ego slash re challenge where I run down the stairs and I immediately just sprint around and re-challenge him. And you catch people slipping. And this is why it's worked so well. This guy's going to actually be mid-sprint right here. He's like, oh, snap. He he, he mid-sprint jumps at me because he asked me he wants to challenge me. And I get the kill. I actually got some headshots there, which help. I go for the full immediately. This guy shoots me in the back. I'm like, all right, you might kill me, but at least I'm getting the other full. So I sprint for this guy. Get the full on this guy. And at this point, I realize, you know, I, I think I might be good here. So I stim, he's literally on my back, and I go for a re-challenge, and I die here. Not the best play. I could have played that slightly better. I could have ran away and played it up. I could have, you know, challenged him closer. I took, like, a wide, weird challenge with no plates, and it just, I put myself in a very disadvantaged spot. But at the end of the day, I mean, his teammates end up coming back, which is kind of good for the lobby's health. So we're at a 15 kills already to our name. Uh, we're about half, almost halfway into the game, so I'm obviously at a really good place. Pace, uh, I try to knock this guy flying in. Not going to do it, but it's okay. Now, I know a lot of people have to be around this area because, well, there's always people around Grotto. So I spot this guy, beam him with the SCG, get the full as I always try to. See a lot of pings on me. Some are ghosted, some are not. This guy's in the house in the corner. I'm going to play it up, take my time here, I'm trying to find him. And you can see how like I'm checking every angle. Now, this is something super small, but I tend to do this a lot in rooms. If you ever watch me live stream or watch me fully play, and when I'm really going hard and really trying to clear out angles, I slide, cancel, peak, center, 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 center. So you can see right here, I'm centering this corner. Looks good. Center over here on the left. Looks good. S slide, cancel, center here. Looks good. Bang. Slide, ca slide, cancel, center right. Obviously, knew he was in this. He was in this vicinity. He was in his house. So this guy tries to rocket launcher me. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't. I think. It, I think it just either he fully missed or it just it didn't come out in time because I killed him good uh, fast enough. I mean, we're having a good game here. You know, so far really taking care of business, playing it well, good movement, good gun skill, good awareness, taking advantage of everything I can, except that one fight that I, I kind of misplayed. Grab bounties. I'm a big contract guy. You always want to grab contracts. I'm going to grab this bounty. And now I'm going to wait for my teammates to come back here. So I see this guy landing in. And obviously, I know there's going to be a lot of people in this area. I spot this guy. I take my time. I see people flying in from the top left. People are taking balloons. It's crazy. I see I see shots in deep in winery. I first line up this shot. Get this guy. Pre-in for a second. Gives me the kill. Now, obviously, I see a lot of shots in winery. I know the gas is closing in. I'm like, all right, I want kills. 30 seconds left. Gas is closing in. I know a lot of people are coming winery because one, there were shots er just literally 10 seconds ago. Two, winery was packed for a long time. Gas is pushing them out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get this guy, but I think I end up getting this kill at least. Um, one of my kills got stolen by the gas or the, his teammate. And then I basically go fools here. I just get these fools, honestly, just for a ping. I know there's people around here. I see shots on my radar. Snap on this guy. Nice headshots. Nice aim. Now, I know there's three guys on my minimap right now. A lot of times people are going to plate up here, which, yes, plating up can be the good play. It's, it's, the, it's the right play. But I have my teammate fighting all of them. I'm, I, they're coming out the gas. You know, I have things working for me where I don't have to prioritize plating at all. So I'm not. 
So I'm going to go straight for the kills. These guys are all running out of gas. They're shooting at my teammate. I'm basically baiting him in a way. I spot the guy to my left, but I'm going to go for this guy to my right. Now I'm going to stim, turn around, re-challenge the guy on my right, which I do right here. Snap on this guy. Luckily, the MAC-10 has so much ammo because I'm able to get so many kills done. Couldn't get the full on that guy, but I get the full on this guy, especially because he was selfing. Now, something that really keeps me alive here is, obviously, you guys know, there are guys literally shooting, like, right on me, pretty pretty close to me, and he could have killed me. But instead, I'm going to run into the gas knowing I have a full gas mask, and I'm basically going to play it up in the gas, be okay with it. This guy push, pushes me out of nowhere. He came out of the blue, killed that guy, and I'm going to stim and re-challenge re inside. Uh, sometimes we get too afraid of being in the gas, and when you have a, especially when you have a gas mask, or even if you have stims and you go in the gas, it's better then putting yourself in a gunfight where you're just in a complete disadvantage. Because guess what? You're still dead. At least in the gas, you can make a play. You can take your time played up. You can take another route, reposition. So that's luckily what I was able to do there. The guy that was on me, he probably just ran away and went for some more kills. So I got 26 kills to my name. We're a third circle. This is definitely smelling like a 40 bomb. So I see this, this ATV up here. I'm going to pull out the SCG and immediately go for the beams. I hit some very good shots. I don't have a Cronus. So I'm just uh, I'm a really good player. I'm going to be able to get these two guys, go for the fools, just in case they have selfs. My radar is pinging this guy on the left, so I'm going to be like, all right, let me check this out since I'm right here. Uh, he's, a, he's the closest guy I can find. I'm going to jump down here. This guy was like calling it a streak, catch him slipping, bada bing, bada boom, millionaire down. And just like that, where you know we're on a good place, we're completely fried. I'm really abusing my gun skill to the fullest and my, you know, my in-game awareness and yada, yada, yada. Um, right here, I killed this guy. Now, you always got to pay attention to pings. I see two guys flying above me, and I see a guy in front of me. So, I'm going to immediately turn around here because, one, people can land with guns. And, two, obviously, if they're behind me, I got to turn around and kill them. But this guy starts shooting at me, and I hear them. I hear enemies dropping in, so I turn around, like, kind of look for them. But you see how these guys are landing on me and trying to kill me? Like, this is why you have to pay attention to that. So, I'm going to actually kill the two guys that I did ping, and they were behind me. They were both flying in. It became a threat. My teammate luckily was there to kind of help me and assist me. And obviously, I was able to just hit good shots and take care of them. Then I killed the last guy, I believe, here. This was the last guy. Nice little beam for me. I ping, We pinged three here, I believe. But since there's no one engaging me here, they're, they're obviously underground. So I kind of just clear the area. Make sure they're not here. I'm going to completely ignore them. Move on to the next target. Those guys are gone in the car. I'm not going to waste my time. Let's go to the right. My teammate just died. I'm going to go for kills. I, I, I hear people around me, so I'm going to get the high ground immediately and kind of look for these people and these players. Yeah, this guy right here is hiding. Dude, tracker is so good, by the way. Tracker is so good. So right here, I, I'm like, all right, this guy's going to res him. I'm like, all right, this guy's going to res him. I'm going to I'm gonna wait for him to res him. He sees me last second, but like he gets the res off, and I, I go for the two kills. So right there, get, make sure to guarantee the kill. Add to my add to my name. Four kills off the forty. There's only nine people left. It's kind of scary here. Now there's a, I think there's some players around us. So right here, I'm kind of hugging this corner. Our teammate is kind of like just playing it safe. I, I commit to these fights. Go for the full, get the ping. I see two guys on me. One's next to me. I hit him with the stim. Push him. Bada bing, bada boom. Marco stim up close. I'll take you to my room. This guy's chasing me. He's a pretty good player. I'm pretty sure. Hit him with the movement, finish him off. I don't think my teammate shot one bullet at him. Right here, I wanted to get some more plates off, this third plate off, just because I, I really felt like I could. But you can see, like, right here, he enters my screen. And I know he's pushing me because I hear him. I know he's full sending me. He's a good player. So right here, I, I, I completely stopped plating up, and I hit, I hit, a, I hit like, a strafe movement to basically make him miss shots, and then I could catch him with a, with a, I could catch him slipping. So right here, I hit a, I hit a, I hit a right to left to, to slide challenge. Sometimes we think it's over when we're playing it up. You can still, like, it's happened to me. Very rare, but it's happened to me when, you know, somebody's playing it up, a good player, and I push them. And, uh, you know, you you can't do it to anybody. It's it's rare. It's it's not like you can do it every time, but it, it's a good movement that you can do to juke your enemies and basically still kill them, even if you're mid plate. And then there was one guy left, and he ends up being down low here in the PDS. So I end up just pushing him and uh, basically gets to get the kill. And boom, 40 bomb. My team made him gain 30 kills as well. Uh, we're fine. So something people always tell me is like, Apathy, what makes a difference? You know, because obviously when you're like 5KD, 6KD, when you're really high KD, you know, obviously like in the 0.0001% of a player, you have S tier movement, gun skill. But at the end of the day, like it's also the IQ plays. It's also the repositioning. It's also just the little things like the EMP tactical grenade into the shotgun. Like the way I'm playing these little situations to stay alive and guarantee kills. And the way I play the map, you can see the difference, you know, between what someone who 
kid maybe has good gun skill but doesn't necessarily like factor in all those things hope you guys learned something today man if you guys enjoyed this make sure to like and comment and subscribe and hopefully we can do another one in the future with other people's gameplay it's been your boy apathy and i hope you have a fabulous day peace